What is up everybody? Welcome to today's video. Hope everyone's doing well. You guys are probably wondering where the hell I'm at right now. I'm actually at Los Angeles, California. I'm actually, we're actually at a Bank of America right now because I'm waiting for my Uber ride. I'm gonna be doing my first ever speaking engagement. Okay, I'm a little nervous, I have to be honest. It's for my boys mastermind, Daniel Di Piazza, also my mentor and really, really good friend. Very, very excited, super pumped to do this. Like I, like I said, I'm pretty nervous. Um, I've done speaking like speaking before and I've been able to talk you know, in front of people and, but usually those are events that I've hosted, but I'm actually a guest, so that's why I'm pretty nervous. But I'm about to head over to um, the mansion for the mastermind and we're all gonna have a great time. Let's get it. What's poppin'? Thank you so much, man. Appreciate I see you have a camera crew with you. I know. What's up, brother? How's it going? What's up, brother? How's it going? Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Silver Fox over here. <laughs> I see you on top of your content game, bro. Yeah, I mean, this is <laughs> taking a, couple, a long time. This doesn't reflect who I am, though. I mean, I have nothing to do with the fact that it's taking two hours for this to upload. I just put up the fire content for you, and whenever it gets up there, y'all will see it. <laughs> Very quick edits. Yeah, so the intensive, the alpha intensive is for entrepreneurs scaling from zero to 100K, working on growing something that they've dreamed up. And this is the first time we've done an event like this. So we rented out a co basically a compound. Right. You know, there's three houses on this property. It's crazy. it's crazy. There's a yoga studio downstairs. It's nuts. And it's been it's been crazy. Derek, you're gonna be our second guest, uh, and I can't wait for you to just blow it up. I'm yeah. excited. We about to tear the roof off in this bitch. Hey. <laughs> So my man, what's up, brother? Yo, so I heard that you've been, you, you know about me, bro. Man, I am this guy's number one fan. Number one fan. I appreciate. What's your name, bro? Yeah. Ravi. Dude, I appreciate you. When did you find me? Oh, how did you find me? I was talking to you before you had your course on really? Facebook. Oh. oh, damn, for real? N November. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, that was way before yeah. then. Dude, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, dude, I appreciate you, man. I'm excited to, I'm excited to hang out with you guys and talk to you guys for the evening. It's gonna be oh, awesome. It's gonna appreciate be. You. All right, guys. I just met my student Ravi here. He's been with me for a long time. He was actually he's actually here at Daniel's Mastermind, and he's freaking killing it right now with FBA. This is one product, guys. 14k in one month, bro. Crazy, killing crazy it, stuff. Man. Killing it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, how many of you guys like know a, know a little about me or something? A little bit. Okay. So, cool. You do? No, just kidding. Cool. So, for a lot of you guys who don't know me, I'll, let me start from the very beginning. First and foremost, it's a, a, an extreme, extreme honor to be here, um, to talking to you guys and being able to speak at Daniel's, one of Daniel's mastermind, it's a true honor. And, and you know, it's his birthday too, so happy birthday, brother. Thank you, sir. Absolutely, um, you know, hopefully you enjoy your 30s. Rich 30-something is coming out soon. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up on that. Um, but yeah, let me give you guys some context. I know a lot of you guys already know me, but let me go, go back from the beginning. So I was born in San Francisco, California, moved around 16 times from the time I was you know, I was born until I was about 14, 16 years old. Um, always, you know, going from place to place, different schools to different schools. Um, and, you know, when I was about 14 years old, okay, I heard somebody say, I heard this term, I think it was like on Tumblr, and, and, it, and it said something, it was like a quote, and it said something about beautiful struggle. Okay, and at the time I was like, how can a struggle be beautiful? You know, isn't struggle supposed to be a bad thing? And like, you know, this, like why would anyone think a struggle is beautiful? But for some reason, at that age, at 14 years old, it clicked. And, at the t and it just meant something very, very deep inside me, and I decided to hold on to it. So when I was 14 years old, um, at the time I was doing graphic design and things like that, I decided to put Beautiful Struggle on a t-shirt, okay? Just design something on Photoshop, put it on a t-shirt, wore it to school, and then people were like, oh my God, like, that's really cool, where'd you get it? And I'm like, oh, I actually designed it. So when I designed it and I wore it to school, people were just starting to ask for it. So I decided I was gonna print more. I think I printed like 108, 54 of black, 54 of white. And then I would go to school every single day with two duffel bags. I had a duffel bag on my left hip and a duffel bag on my right hip. So the left hip was like orders from people. And I would have like these post-it notes on my arm. So when people would be like, hey Derek, can I get a large and the white? I'd take out a pen and I would just write like, 
you know, Johnny Large. And then I was like, hey bro, I got you tomorrow, meet me. And I used to just like sling shirts left and right from in the quad, in the locker room, in the cafeteria, like anywhere. I was the t-shirt guy at school. And then like I said, the right duffel bag was just random shirts. Just literally, just like, at the time I didn't even know what the hell entrepreneurship even was, right? I just knew that I had a message and I had something, uh, something that, that meant something to me and I wanted to put it out in the world, not knowing any, anything about marketing or anything like that. I just wanted to put it out there, correct? So. As time got, continued to go on, um, you know, started selling shirts and stuff. You guys are probably wondering how the hell did the school like let me sell T-shirts and stuff like that? Um, actually, because I was like, in, I was in leadership. You guys know what leadership is, yeah. right? So in leadership, like I had a really close, uh, you know, I don't know, relationship with like the principals, the vice principals. So they were like, they were even buying it for their kids and for themselves. So <laughs> kind of like worked out anyway. So, yeah, I was cool with them, and then I was making money. And I was like, it's all good, and. Um, Eventually I graduated from high school, right? 16, 17 years old, and I lost my entire market, right? So when I lost my entire market, I was like, cause I was only selling really to the school, okay? Selling really to the school, and I didn't really, you know, have anyone else to sell to cause everyone went off to college, so I just stopped completely. Um, at that time, I did sell a little bit of um, products online, t-shirts online. Um, at the time there wasn't really like an Instagram, it was literally like Facebook, Kind of my, I don't know if MySpace was really that big like then, um, but you know it was my first taste in e-commerce. So a lot of you guys know that I come from an e-commerce background. So my first taste in e-commerce was when I was 16 years old. Okay, was selling things online while I was selling in school. So literally, I use a platform called Big Cartel. Do you guys know? What Big, I don't know if you guys know what Big Cartel is. So before there was no Shopify. It was just, there was a platform called Big Cartel. So I would use it, print out the labels, uh, pack it, ship it. Okay, get it to people, and I still to this day have all the orders. So I got I put pretty. I, I think I should like take a picture of it and show it to you guys. It's actually pretty cool. Like all of these like orders and stuff like that. So anyway, graduated high school. Okay, no, lost all my customers. After I lost all my customers, I was like, okay, you know, just I guess that's it for me for my business. So I I stopped like you know my dream or my um, my ambition for uh, what struggle really meant for me. Okay. So I, I became a trainer for about four years and I just got to this pivotal moment where the company transitioned, I left the job and then I went to a different job and then I became a private trainer and it just got to a point where, where I was just asking myself and I think every single person in this room has gone through this, that's why you guys are here, you have gone through this moment in your life where like there has to be something more, right? Like this can't just be it for me, right? And that moment hit me when I was working at uh, um, this place called City Sports. Okay, I was sitting down in my car, it was on lunch break, no gas in my car. I literally looked at my bank account, I had like 60 cents in my bank account. I showed my girlfriend Jessica, I texted her, I was like, I, I don't know how to feel right now. And I literally just broke down in my car. I'm like, holy shit, like is this really is to, to my life? Like am I just gonna come here, collect the paycheck and just be done? It's like this is all there is to, like, to my life and everything that I'm doing, right? And I decided that moment that I was gonna, ch I made the commitment that moment that I was gonna change my life. It was like the breaking point for me, the, and, I, and I, I could still feel the, the feelings that I had at that moment, okay? Um, I told myself, I don't know what I'm gonna do, who I'm gonna talk to, where to start, but I just know that I'm gonna do everything in my fucking power from this day to go out there and make things happen for myself. So after that, the days followed, I just you know, went on YouTube, watched some motivational videos, studied successful people, and I learned that all successful people read. So I was like, oh, cool. For me, personally, I thought reading was like stupid after high school, but then I started reading, I started to start doing self-development, um, you know, personal development, and I started to, that's when things, my mindset started to change, and that's when the, 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 the idea of Beautiful Struggle as not just a brand, but as a, what it meant to me, and as, as, a, and as, a, as a message came back. So I decided, you know, you know what, why don't I start the brand again and rebrand? So I started the brand again in December 2016, but I dropped the beautiful and I kept the word struggle. And the reason why I did that was because it wasn't the, it, the word struggle means so much to me. And I'll tell you guys why, because I learned that as I continue to grow up, that struggle is the best thing, is, is a gift from life. It's a gift from evolution and it's a gift and it's, and, no, and it's a gift because it shows us and it allows us to know when there's a time that for us to pivot. A lot of times people, when they, in, when they have struggle in their life, or you know, they go through these, these, these trials and these adversities, they think that, oh God, like, I need to like, close down and like, I need to like, like, like shield myself. But really, it's, it's your opportunity to open up 
and embrace that struggle and be like, you know what? It's a fucking challenge and I'm gonna do what I can to, to pivot and to move and, and to progress from this point on, right? Because it's only in those moments of like being comfortable and stagnant where there's no growth. So when there is struggle, there is growth. So if all of you guys are going through like struggle in your business, adversity, trying to really take your business to the next level and you're having a hard time, you guys are on the right path. You guys feel me? Yeah. If you're not struggling, there's something wrong. So embrace it whenever you go through those times of your life where it's like, fuck, this is difficult. I'm losing money. Like, I have lost so much money. A lot of people only see the successes that my, my businesses have I've, I've built, but nobody sees the, 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 the amount of businesses I've started that have failed, how much money I've lost, how many times I didn't have any gas to put in my car, how many times I had to like, kind of like, hey mom, can I borrow like $20? I just, you know what I mean? Like I had to do what I had to do to, in order to make it happen. And I know that a lot of you guys are going through those, like those things and you, you probably will go even deep. Like the deeper you get into entrepreneurship, the more, the, the harder, like, um, the, the deeper you get into entrepreneurship, the more you realize why so few people make it. It's because not everybody is willing to endure the things, the trials, the pain, the losing money, the fail, the failure, you know, those things, the risk, the criticism, the fears, right? Um, so let's go back to my story. So I decided to rebrand December 2016, started struggle again. I started, started as an athletic apparel company because at the time fitness was like my thing. I just got out of training and I started to struggle while I was actually personal training. So I kind of like balanced those two things, trying to grow my, um, my clothing brand and then trying to grow, uh, uh, sorry, um, training at the same time. So I was doing both of those things. Got to a point where struggle was making a lot more money than my, my you know, my personal training job and it just was, I couldn't balance those two. So I just dropped my training job, quit my nine to five job and then went full on in my online business. Okay, so as my online business started to grow, struggle athletics started to grow, community started to grow, things were awesome, right? I, I met amazing, a lot of amazing people. I, it, it became an outlet for me to like to, to drive my message and my vision and you know, just overall what I thought about the word struggle. Cause I really thought that it, to me, there's always, these these terms that people talk about, like you know, like you know, uh, you know, positive, like these positive words, like you know, strength and power and all these things, but like no one talks about struggle, right? Everyone talks about all the good stuff, but no one talks about the struggle. But I feel like it's just as important, if not more important, right? So um, I wanted to push that message out, right? So uh, moving, forward, I'm talking about my business now, okay, guys, and just talk about how my business has started to grow. So as I was doing struggle, I, f I was already in the e-commerce game, been doing e-commerce since I was 16 years old. I found a business model called Amazon FBA. How many, you guys, a lot of you guys know what Amazon FBA is, right? Okay, fulfillment by Amazon. Basically, you take products that are, uh, you find products on Amazon's marketplace that are very are viable, that are doing well, that have a market for it, that are generating revenue, okay? And then you wholesale it from China, okay? Or from, you know, India or various wholesaling places. Get it shipped to an Amazon warehouse in the United States or whatever marketplace you decide to be in. Use Amazon's marketplace to sell and then pro pocket the profit. So it's kind of like drop shipping, but in the what I teach and what I do is called private labeling. Okay, so we actually have a logo, we actually have a brand. Um, furthermore, you can have a, a trademark, so you actually can build outside of just Amazon. You can actually have a website, social media pages, things like that. Okay, so as Amazon FBA started to grow and I started to do well, I started to share my journey on Facebook groups, and I know a lot of you guys were asking me how FBA Hero started and stuff like that. So this is gonna be cool, okay, uh, to share with you guys because I know you guys wanted to hear about it. So I started to share my, my uh, you know, how I was doing with FBA and all of these things and people were just like, oh my God, can you help me? So I would just message people back and forth, back and forth, right? And when I messaged people, they were like, hey, do you have a YouTube channel? I was like, oh no, I can't be on YouTube. I mean, a lot of you guys see me now on YouTube, I'm a little comfortable, I'm like more, all more comfortable, but before I was like, holy shit, I cannot be on camera, right? And then um, I decided, you know what? People kept asking me every single day for weeks and weeks and weeks. I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna make a YouTube channel but I'm only gonna make a YouTube channel to copy the link and just paste it to those people. So I did that. So I just copied the link, I made a video about how to product research, contact suppliers, just like my strategies. Copied the link, pasted it to the people via Messenger on Facebook, and then people liked it. People were like, oh my God, like, you know, this is awesome. And then people were like, Derek, can you mentor me? I'll pay you $1,000. And while it sounded appealing, I didn't have the time to really sit with somebody for every single day and Skype them and teach them the landscape of Amazon FBA because there's so much to learn. You know, logis like all the logistics, you know, taxes, corporate, how to incorporate your business, trademark, supplier, product. there's so much, right? So people are just like, you, you gotta, and at the time I was reading Daniel's book and he talks a lot about like digital products, digital products, digital products, and I'm like, and I'm like, and it was like I had this conflicting thing where it's kind of like, 
man, I don't know how to build a digital product, but like, you know, Daniel was talking about build, building digital product. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna build a digital product. But if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make it the fucking best that I can possibly make it. And I'm just gonna like do the best that I possibly can. So I built FBA Heroes. The personal brand started to go. I started to connect with a lot of people. Just fell in love with just connecting with people. So I started to do these meetups, right? My first meetup was in Los Angeles. About 30 people showed up. TJ, you were there for the first one. So thank you, brother, for being there. About 30 people showed up. It was awesome. Then I traveled to Seattle, held a meetup, literally just like on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram. I'm like, hey, you guys, I'm going to be here. Let's do a meetup. Went to Seattle. It was just Jessica and I. It was our anniversary. People showed up. It was amazing. And then I held the very first um, event in the Bay Area where I live, where I come from, called Struggle and Coffee. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but Struggle and Coffee, over 150 people showed up. And there was people there that came down from Oregon, Texas, Florida, flew in. And it was the most humbling. And, and that moment, when I got there, I realized this is like what I want to do. This is who I am. And I wouldn't have gone there if it wasn't for all the all the shit that I had to go through and fighting and going, fighting my demons and, and, and you know, I feel like you really get to your true purpose when you can really fight your demons until you get to that point, right? That's when you, when you fight your demons and you go through the struggles, you go to war every single day, not against the world, but in yourself. Because how many of you guys wake up and you're like, fuck, you got, you've, you're just like, there's this voice in your head, you're just like, I'm just trying to get motivated, I'm trying to do the things that I'm supposed to be doing. You have this internal battle. That battle that you fight every day, like that's, and if you, start to you know uh, like conquer those demons you start to gain more clarity in your purpose and for me i felt like i would have never gone there if it wasn't for starting struggle it wasn't for trying to do like if it wasn't for struggle i would have never found if it wasn't for just me skipping jobs and stuff like that i would have never found struggle again if it wasn't for struggle i would have never found amazon fba if i never found amazon fba i would have never found youtube if I never found YouTube, I would have never found FBA Heroes. If I never found FBA Heroes, I would have never met Daniel. If I never met Daniel, I wouldn't be here right now, talking Aww. to you guys and serving my purpose. Do you guys understand? Risk and just fucking going all in. That's my story. All right, guys, I just wrapped up the talk at Daniel's number one, his 30th birthday, but it's also his mastermind here. Everybody say what's Woo! up. How you guys feeling? Woo! Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you brought the fire! Lit! Oh. Lit! Alright guys, I just finished my talk with Daniel's mastermind here at Alpha Mentorship. It was freaking phenomenal. I was talking for about probably like an hour and a half. It was amazing getting to hear, hear everybody's stories. So if you're watching this and you're at Alpha, man, I got nothing but love for you. It was awesome. The, 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 the vibes and the positivity and the, the level of passion that I see in the fire and all of your guys' eyes is absolutely awesome. And I hope for any of you guys that were able to watch it, you guys were able to take something from it, um, take you know a little nugget here and there from the talk, um, and you know you know digest the people that ask questions and their questions and how you can, it relates to you and how you can apply it to your life, your business, and just stuff like that. So I'm gonna close out the vlog here, but let me go find Daniel first. All right, guys, I found Daniel. So close out the vlog, bro. Happy birthday, and thank you so much for having me. Man, here. thank you so much for coming. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't I don't get tired of seeing you. Dude, I appreciate it, man. Seriously, I appreciate you. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Other than that, leave a comment. Yeah, leave a comment. <laughs> and, 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 and leave a comment and tell us how you liked uh, Daniel's outfit earlier that was showing his chest. And uh, let me know if you guys liked it, if you didn't. Um, if you don't like it, don't, don't even leave a comment. Yeah, don't even leave a comment. <laughs> All right, guys, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you for watching.